Well, everybody, welcome back. The game that we are playing is Trails in the Sky, The Legend of Heroes. But, uh, you know, you, you know what it is. We are continuing the story here. Or oh, we'll see if there's any side quests for us now. But last time we checked out the scoop in Ravenu Village and we found the missing airliner. And we fought Kyle of the Kapua family. And then we got uh, arrested for our troubles. It's a uh, classic setup where the hero gets wrongfully arrested by the authorities, even though they're the only ones doing any real work to solve the problem. So, also, he's here again. <laughs> he, Olivier. No, I, I, I said he's here because I actually did blank out for a second what Olivier's name was, but um, <laughs> that actually sounded really appropriate to be like, he's here again. So, the mayor has entrusted us now to solve a cat burglar situation, so we're gonna go take care of that. That's why I didn't do a bunch of shopping at the end of last episode, because it's happened at the shopping area. For that, I think we might be able to get a reward for, um... Oh, this freaking menu. For the missing airliner thing, because we wrapped it up and there is a request. Uh, th there was a reward posted there, not a request. It's a request, it's a report. Let's see, we report. Yeah, worked out, fantastic. 6,000 Mira is going to go a long way with all those new upgrades we can get. We received payment from Mayor Mabel for your investigative efforts thus far. All right, and we got a nice chunk of bp. Still 6th class. Eh, I will, what am I say? Still 6th class. We only recently hit that 6th class, so things worked out great for us. Give up the good work and be careful out there. So, part of me dreads this because we do take a long while doing these, but part of me also really likes these side quests, so let's see. There's one new thing here. Okay, what's up with that? The stolen ring. I was burglarized the other day and my jeweled ring was found to be among the missing items. It's quite valuable to me, so if anyone happens to find it, please let me know. I live on Bose's south block. Lana. We'll keep an eye out for that. I suddenly just had a flashback to this stolen ring thing, and this one might actually be something we need to take a little bit of time to deal with. It did say duration was medium, but, you know, might be even more than just medium. We'll see, but hey, we're going to south block anyway. Oh, army guy's on patrol now. I can't believe these sky bandits managed to circumvent our search and just walk right into town and burglarize the bunch of places. Oh, we were really outdone this time. Cool little touch, having soldiers on patrol now that things are messy. Um, I, they robbed the orbment place and the weapons place, or, or am I just completely misremembering? Are you the braces we heard about? Since the mayor has asked you to look into things, I have no choice but to allow it. Just don't get in the way of the army's investigation. We won't, we won't. Let's go into Orbment Shop real quick, because we want to open up some slots. Looks like this store was hit by the burglars as well. I guess this isn't the time to be talking about business deals. Now right, let's check this guy up. Let's see if talk gets us something. Mm, my factory! M my factory and all my goods! They're gone! I, I've got to report this to either the army or the Bracer Guild ASAP. Now, now hold on just a minute. If either one of these groups saw what was written in that stolen ledger... Oh, yikes. I'd be in a world of hurt. Stolen ledger? And something fishy he doesn't want to tell the army. And Oh, oh shit, there's stuff going on up here. Okay, cool. I'm glad I came to look up here. <laughs> I should have done my shopping there, though. I don't know if he can do any services right now, but we'll, we'll take care of this plot stuff first. Yay! This one turned out really cute. Niall, is this how you wanted this one? Yeah, sure. Something like that. However, really got screwed, you know that. Huh? Good afternoon. Are you working on another story? Looks like you two are on the trail of a scoop again. Hey, it's you kids. Oh, Estelle and Joshua. Boy, am I glad to see that they let you out of the clinker. Yeah, I heard all about you kids getting arrested by the army up at the old mine. You certainly had me worried. 
Why are you acting like you had nothing to do with it? It was your info that led us to the village. Hey now, what kind of face is that? Don't tell me you blame us. Did you go and check out the abandoned mine yourselves? Yeah, we did yesterday. But it was after you all had been hauled off. You could have had a really great shot of your arrest had we been there. Oh, it really gets me that we missed such a perfect opportunity for a great shot. <laughs> I, I swear, you people in the news business. But anyway, I was wondering if you thought this looked like the handiwork of the Sky Bandits. Oh, it sure looks that way to me. Seems that the army is sniffing around for clues, too. But to be honest, it looks like there's nothing to be found here anymore. I see. That does make things a bit more difficult. Well, Mr. Reporter, why don't you let me ask you this, then? Do you know from whence the Sky Bandits entered the town? According to the witness statements, they were seen leaving through the West Gate. Well, that's awfully strange. The Mayor's residence and Bo's Margaret are right through the West Gate. And it seems like attacking those two places would be far more lucrative. Oh, when you put it that way, that makes a lot of sense. But if you don't mind me asking, who the heck are you, anyway? <laughs> I'm glad you asked. I'm Olivier Lenheim, a wandering bard and gifted musician. I'm sure you've heard rumors about me, right? Oh, right, you're the guy who drank wine without paying at that classy restaurant. It takes guts to stiff such a big bill. It's an honor to meet you, sir. <laughs> you're making me blush. I'm ready for my interview anytime, so don't hesitate to ask. Wow, really? I'm getting a headache just listening to this crap. These two are very much alike. I'm not even gonna ask how this guy wound up with the rest of you. That would be for the best. Alright, so I guess we'll have a look up here as well for any clues on the way. Thanks to your shenanigans, the pages of the next issue are gonna be filled with some real gripping headlines. Let me know if you get any other scoops. The newest model of camera on display here was stolen. Do you think the Sky Bandits have an interest in photography? Hmm. We'll have to consider that angle, I guess. We're also gonna have to talk to this person over here. This person looks like they could be an important character. I don't know. Carrie. Wow. It looks like the burglars made off with nearly everything. I could have sworn that my boss locked up last night. Okay, never mind. Nothing crazy important right there. Hmm. Alright, so, well, we got that checked. Did that update our list here? Not Saw Nile at the Orbal Factory seems it was the Sky Bandits. Alright. That, that was the clue we got there. Very good. Let's take care of that shopping, if we're able to. So, slots. So, Estelle has three slots open. Joshua only has a two. Sherizard has three slots open. In fact, we can't even open these slots. Maybe for Estelle? We could open for Estelle, because it's only two slots from the middle. But obviously, I want to get Joshua's portfolio opened up a little bit here, so we got to take care of that. There we go. Now, the question is, what could I put there? And I'm sorry to do this, guys, but I do need to do a little bit of pondering here of what I could, like, put there. Um, what can I build towards? If I put this EP1 here, which is 112, I get Anticept. So, I mean, yeah, really quickly, that, that seems like something to do. Um, It's cause it's time, time, and time and again. Um, I want to make a really quick uh, check here. If I put the poison on the big branch there, do we get anything interesting out of that? No. For the time being, it might be worth it to actually to. Have, uh, yeah, let's just take that off. If I really wanted to get finicky here, if I wanted to, I could, like, look at removing some of the slots that the other guys have. Oh, I just realized Olivier has a... Can we actually open up Olivier's? 
Yes, we can. Huh. Oh, but... He... Oh, interesting. He's or He's got a bunch of slots already open. What's this all about, then? Very curious. Didn't even realize that. Yeah, he's only got one slot to open, but it's like 200. Huh. Anyway, yeah, let's let's finish uh, now Joshua here. So, um... Yeah, it might be worth it to actually just have the poison there for now. Then have EP cut there and uh, EP1 right there. I mean, the EP thing's nice, of course, so he can do a bunch of moves now, so I guess I should probably use these at some point. <laughs> but, like, anti-set. Prevents the casting of arts. Mute. That could be handy with some of the monsters that are favoring casting arts, you know? Th there could be some use from this. If, even if it works on bosses, that'd be really great. So, let's have a quick look. Just review, again, our magic options here. What we could be going for... Mm, Mmm... Oh, that's interesting. We could actually do stone impact already, methinks. Can I? Uh, yeah, we got two right there. Ah, that's the play right there, everybody. Let's do that. All right. I like the sound of that, a big old area. Yes, we can get Stone Impact, which costs a lot, which means definitely EP Cut is very good to have. And actually, EP1 is going to serve us very well if we can drop, if we ever feel like we need to drop that Stone Impact. That's the play right there. Very clever, very clever. Let's have a quick look. Eventually, we can, maybe with those final couple of slots for Josh, we can aim for Titanic Roar, which would be very neat. Now, quickly reminding myself, we've got into Lightning with uh, Estelle right there. Oh, we could also try to go for Hellgate eventually if we like start getting more time gems, you know. Or wh whatever that dark one was. I think it was Time Element. Hmm. What I would like to do with Estelle eventually, I don't know, because we could use some big heals. So, if, if we got just one more like blue gem on her... We could, like, do lot here, I think. Should I? Uh, hold on, let's, let's really quickly review Estelle's setup here. <laughs> uh, sorry. This isn't super intuitive always, I have to say. Right, so if we got that slot open... I think I'll leave this for now, because I really like having all these lightning abilities for Estelle. But... If we got this slot open, we could drop in, um... Actually, let's preempt this here. So we'll remove that and take off Eagle Eye. Like, do that. And then we stick Eagle Eye there in the middle like that. And we put that. Because these, these, all these, like, spells need the gold element. So it's actually really valuable to stick that dead center. In which case it's affecting all the branches. You feel me? Yeah? So, once we get this slot open, which won't be for a while, unfortunately, we just now got the... We just now got enough uh, red sepith to get that thing open. Um, but yeah, we can, like, we can, like, get a new uh, blue slot, a new blue gem. E e even any one of these will do. Like, even mind one is fine. Um, stick that in there, and like then we'll have Lot here, which is like an area heal. Which would be nasty. N -n nasty. What did I say? Nasty. Nice. Mm -hmm. um, I think I do want to eventually go for... Uh... Oh, Diamond Dust would be cool eventually, but that really needs... That ne really needs a little bit of planning to get to that. I'm not sure if I have enough slots, unless we get some really powerful Quartzes, you know. Some big value Quartzes. We might, we might. Um, I, I would like to go for like Tiara or Tiaral. So ideally I would get a three value blue item, in which case we would have four blue value altogether, which would allow Tiara in addition to Latir. Yeah. Okay, that's enough of that. Um, we don't get to do that often, so I don't feel too bad about doing, taking all that time to ponder that on screen. But um. Let's carry on. I think this place was robbed as well. Let's have a talk. Damn it! 
My shop got ripped off by a bunch of thieving criminals. And they took off with every last one of my pricey goods, too. Why did this have to happen to me at a time when there were hardly any goods around to begin with? Well, that didn't really help us at all, but, um... Let's see. We not we are now we now have Mira. We have Mira. We could get those two leather jackets for Josh and Sherazard. Apparently Olivier already has one cuz his values do not change at all. <sighs> Why the heck not? Let's do this. Wait, how many do I have in my inventory? Oh no, it counted the ones that Estelle and Olivier had. Mm. Okay, I was for a second I was like, wait a second. That's kind of it's not a big problem, but it kind of fools me that, like, it lists the equipped ones in your inventory. I keep thinking, like, it's, you know, free in our inventory. But anyway, let's do that so we're all geared up. Oh yeah, that's some hot shit. Ah, put a save. Safety save here, because I've done a bunch of shopping. Um, let's review locals, I guess. Um, I think we still need to get some trivia. Trivia, some clues. God damn it, I'm... It, it can't just be me, right? Like, there is something about, like, the menu system in this game is a little off. Like, this UI is nicely old-timey, but also in a bad way. Yeah, I think we should still do investigating, because I don't think we have any real lead to work with here. I'm trying to ask a few questions here. Would you mind getting out of the way? We'll be the ones asking the questions here, yeah, see? Yeah. Anyway, we also need to find the lady who had the stolen ring taken, Lana. You know, interview them about that side quest. I'm not trying to be rude, but this is an official investigation. Move it along. Well, dang. We got played. Um... Go here next, I guess. Here's also a house. Wow, I was looking at this character model backwards, and it looked like they were wearing a hat, like, on top of their face. Which looked really weird for a second, but now I see, like... There you go, that's what the character looks like. Now we've got burglars running amok in the city. I swear, what's happening to Boz? I'm just glad they left this house alone, though I'm baffled as to why. They certainly didn't do their homework on this city. <sighs> what a freaking humble brag. I was shocked when I heard about the South Block being hit by burglars. Mirano's mother was here alone, you see. Fortunately, this house was untouched in burglaries. But it's at times like this that it makes you feel uneasy when there's no man at home. I'm just glad that Mirano brought Simon over to watch the house. Okay, yeah, this is kind of a dead end, this place, I suppose. Unless there's some clue in the fact that... Uh... There's some clue in the fact that this place wasn't hit by the burglars. Hmm, I don't know. But anyway, apparently we got cutscene. Hey! You there! What? Is something wrong? I thought I'd better give you a word of advice. Even if you are representing the mayor, at the end of the day you are all still civilians. We cannot have you wandering around here in the middle of our investigation. Who do you think you're talking to? Your advice seems rather more like a threat. I'm just saying you need to know your place. But if you're so adamant about investigating the matter, then do it after we've cleared out of here. If we get any more trouble out of yous, then I'm gonna have to give you a personal invitation to jail. Hmm. Forget about it, Estelle. There's no use arguing with these gentlemen. Heh! <laughs> For an ass in the lion's skin, you sure know how to throw your weight around, Mr. Soldier. What did you just say? Oh, a man is like, may I ask what's going on here? I don't know who this character is. Let's see. Oh, shoot, it's, is it the general? N no, it's... The... Colonel. Aha. Uh -huh. Colonel? We're a soldier in the prestigious Royal Army to be threatening our good citizens. That is an outright embarrassment to us all. 
But these aren't just civilians, sir! They're members of the Bracer Guild! Oh, is that so? Then I ask you once again, what is going on here? The army is supposed to be working closely with the guild. What do you intend to accomplish by being rude to our allies? But as far as the general is concerned... Ah oh yes, that side of the general really concerns me. I'll take over the investigation from here, so please take your men and clear out. But, but, but sir... Your men have been here since early this morning, so I presume that a sufficient investigation has been conducted by now, yes? I'll smooth things over with the general later. Is there anything else you wish me to address? Uh, no, sir. Alright, men, pack it up. We're returning to the Harkin Gate. Hut, 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 hut. Looks like that's that. Seems that some of our personnel were rather impolite. Please, allow me to apologize. I appreciate the gesture, but we made some slightly inflammatory remarks as well, so how about we let bygones be bygones? That suits me just fine. As I stated before, the army is supposed to be working closely with the guild. I think our two organizations working together grants us each the ability to make up for the other's shortcomings. I'm looking forward to any progress you make with this recent series of events. Thank you. We'll do what we can. He seems like a decent guy. Yeah, uh, this is kind of interesting. This is like the... You know, the game's being critical of the armed forces and their, like, jurisdiction bureaucracy and also, like, petty personal grudges. Here's, like, the guy, one reasonable guy in the uh, system, I guess, who's gonna be, like, an ally for us. The... the, the the, I don't know what you describe this character type, but like it's it you see it everywhere. Like I don't know. Well, first off, the top of my head is in SWAT Cats when um, Commander Farrell's niece is eventually introduced in I think like the second season, and she's like kind of sort of kind of secretly backing the SWAT Cats because normally Commander Farrell is super on the ass of the SWAT Cats all the time. Does anyone remember SWAT Cats? Oh man. I'm dating myself. Ugh. Let's let's carry on. Yeah, I wonder who he is. Colonel, it's almost the appointed time. Oh, and already? Excuse me, but it appears I must take my leave. Oh, but before I do, it looks like I haven't properly introduced myself. I am Alan Richard, a colonel in the Royal Army. If there is anything I can do to assist you, please don't hesitate to contact me. Colonel Richard? I feel like I've heard that name somewhere before. Nile was the one who mentioned his name earlier. He said something about him being a sharp young officer who leads the Royal Army's intelligence division. Oh, that's why they had those snazzy outfits, I guess. Oh, right! Wow! For someone in the military, he sure knows how to listen to others. Hmm, probably in his mid-thirties, and he's not hard on the eyes either. He seems like he's more fit to be a politician than a service member in the army. Oh, hey you- oh, oh it's Niall, you can see him behind the sign over there. Hey, you guys! Who was that you were just talking to in the black uniform? I can swear I've seen him somewhere before. Are you trying to tell me you didn't recognize him at all? That was Colonel Richard of the Intelligence Division. You know, the guy you mentioned earlier. What? You're not pulling my leg, are you? Well, as fun as that would be, uh, nope. <laughs> he said so himself, so I'm fairly confident he is who he says he is. To think that the legend himself would show up here. We can't wait around here like this any longer, Dorothy. Let's see if we can catch up to him. Aye aye, sir. Although I'm really not sure why we're chasing after anyone. Did you see his eyes light up? I wonder if he's gonna do an interview or something. <laughs> anyone else in the army would brush him off, but I'm sure the colonel will oblige him. Hmm. What's the matter with you, Olivier? You look serious. 
And I gotta say, I find it creepy coming from you. I was just thinking about the Colonel. I'll be the first to admit that he's quite the specimen of a man. But... But what? I can say with confidence that he doesn't stand a chance against me when it comes to the ladies. But I'd like to see him try just a little harder. It's no fun without a romantic rival. You just had to ask, didn't you, Joshua? I'll regret it for the rest of my life. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's see here. Now that the soldiers are gone, how about we resume our own investigation? Let's start by talking to all the people we couldn't talk to earlier. Good idea! Well, that's only one person, really, was the person being reviewed over here. I guess we'll start there. I was gonna go look for the side quest lady first, but yeah, let's have a chat with this, this person. Cecile. Oh, dear me. Weren't you the bracers who came to ask questions not that long ago? Oh, right, we did come before. I'm really sorry I couldn't talk to you then. So, what you came to ask about is what happened last night, right? Yes, that's right. Is this a good time for you? Yeah, this is a good time as any. It was the middle of the night, you see, when I heard a noise coming from outside. And I, of course, thought it was my husband coming home at such a late hour, so I opened the door and started yelling. But it turned out to be a group of masked men coming out of the Orbel factory across the road. I thought my art was plumb gonna stop right then and there. Although it turned out the burglars were rather surprised and ran away to the north. I see. So it was the Sky Bandits, huh? So what you're saying then is that this house didn't incur a loss of any kind? So this is just like the neighboring house, oh. Yeah, thanks to the mercy of the goddess. Can I ask you another thing? Did your husband coming home late mean that he went to the bar? If it was only that, oh, that would be forgivable. In addition to being a no good drinker, he's obsessed with this. Cecile raised her hand in a casting motion. Huh? Oh, I get it. You mean fishing, right? I see now. Oh, casting a fishing rod. Okay, I was like, casting a spell? He's a stage magician? <laughs> That's right! He loves fishing more than life itself. Just yesterday, he said something about catching some smelt and took off to the lake in the south. And on top of that, he still hasn't come back. Eh? Huh? So what you're saying is he doesn't know anything about the incident? That's exactly what I'm saying. And when that good for nothing husband of mine gets home, he's going to get what fur, let me tell you. Hi, honey! I'm home! <laughs> Kuano! Huh, <laughs> what a day I had! I was fishing patiently all morning, but I have nothing to show for it! Oh, what's this? Do we have guests? You senile old man! My goodness, woman! What kind of fiery tempest has got it into you? Don't you know it's rude to act like that in front of guests? If anyone's being rude, that would be you. I'm dumbfounded that my own husband can just take off to do what he likes at a time like this. Eh? What do you mean by a time like this? Maybe I should explain. <laughs> Joshua gave Mr. Kuano a brief explanation regarding the burglaries which transpired the previous night. Burglaries by Sky Bandits? You don't say. Now that is terrible. But to think that they hightailed it out of here after my wife hollered at them is hilarious. <laughs> Guess they got to experience the Cecile effect firsthand. What did you just say? L let's all calm down now, shall we? But to think that these Sky Bandits came in the night like they did and then just disappeared like that. I wonder if it has anything to do with that thing he was talking about the other day. He? What do you mean? Oh, right, you don't know him. He is my fishing buddy. He's staying at the inn down the lake shore to the south of here. 
If I remember right, he said something about seeing a strange bunch near the place the other night. A strange bunch? Now this sounds really interesting. Can you tell us a little more about what you've heard? This does not sound that interesting. This just sounds like a ramblings of an old fisher guy, so... Uh, sure, I don't mind. But I'm just gonna tell you up front that this is all hearsay. From what I heard, he just happened to see them by chance as he was out fishing during the night. He saw them leave by way of the inn's front door and then out onto the road. However, when he asked about it around at the inn in the morning, it turned out that no one like that had stayed there the night before. Yeah, that is rather odd. So, was there any type of burglary at the inn? No, nothing of the sort at all, in fact. It's quiet there, the meals are great, and it's, uh, well, a place I'd recommend to anyone. But best of all, it's a prime fishing spot. Though there weren't any definitive clues related to the incident, we did manage to hear a few interesting bits. I concur. I especially like the one that described all the delicious food at the inn. That's not what we're talking about here. Although I did find the fishing part to be rather interesting. Unfortunately, if there's nothing going on there, then I guess it wouldn't be worth investigating. Actually, I think it's quite the opposite. If someone had been careless and caused a problem, the army would have thoroughly investigated it. Conversely, the possibility of the Sky Bandits appearing where there's nothing happening is rather high. Oh, well, I guess that's one way to think about it. And in light of this series of incidents, there's either a spy in the army, or the Sky Bandits are a really clever bunch of thieves. It will be extremely difficult to corner them only by investigating the incidents which have occurred. We'll need to get one step ahead of them by tracking their movements. I see. So what you're saying is that we should take an offensive stance rather than a defensive one. Hmm. Well, then how about we get going? Off to the beautiful Valyria Lake, extolled in many a rhyme as the Pearl of Libero. Um, well, I'd love to, but we first need to pick up the side quest, so... Eh. Still, still on that Lana we are looking for. Hooah. 